Um, I'm very close with the Osmond family, and um, Alan is being honored tonight. Mm -hmm. And Doug Osmond came to me a few weeks ago, and he said, "Hey, I'm putting together a video reel for our dad, and can you can you tape a message for him?" And then he was like, "Oh wow, maybe you could come and attend and present an award or whatever." So that's how that that's my my connection to being here. Nice. What are your hopes and expectations for the evening? Well, I mean, already I'm blown away. It's like I was just in a VIP lounge going, this is beautiful. It's, it's beautiful and elegant, and there's a diversity of people here from the world of sports and from entertainment and different age groups, and it really proves that Utah is a staple in the entertainment field as well, and obviously we all think New York and L.A. Right. Um, so it's really nice to come here and kind of pay tribute to all of the great talents that come out of Utah. Yeah, wonderful. You being an entertainer for an, a performer and entertainer for quite a while now, you're actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. Tell me a little yeah, bit about that. Her homework. People. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, thank you. Yes, I've held the record for 22 years, which is impossible because I'm only 27. <laughs> That's right. God, I held it for 22 years. I'm the youngest um, writer producer of a number one hit to to date, and. Um, I actually, a couple of years ago, started a performing arts summer camp because I was like, I want to help mentor a kid to break my record because yeah. it's about time that um, that young people really are in power. I mean, we have people like Taylor Swift and great talents that are writing now. And um, when I first started, it was a unique thing to be female, young, and to be a songwriter and to be a producer. And I fought really hard to have the that power and and to be able to do that for myself on my album so when that record went number one which was a song called foolish beat it was like a big i told you so to the boys if you know what i mean he said ah girls can't produce and it's like yeah watch me um so yeah very proud of that what would, what advice do you give to young performers that are, are facing celebrity and, and star status so quickly and, and dealing with the pressure? That's a good question. I mean, I was very lucky because we didn't have cell phones, cameras back then, and TMZ following us around. And, you know, um, I was just talking to David Archuleta, and he's got the right idea. He retreats back to a town that's not in the middle of Hollywood when he's on his downtime and I said good for you because that's what I did I was on Long Island I wasn't in the midst of the Hollywood scene I was always being as real as I could be and I still am like I I don't know I think the key is to know that if you're good at what you do you can turn it on and turn